Hey friends, today I am at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I came out here today because I wanted to test a theory that the wait times are gonna be significantly lower since park hopping has started because it closes at five o'clock. If you park hop, you can go to another park at two, so nobody's gonna be park hopping to Animal Kingdom, and the people that were in Animal Kingdom in the morning are probably park hopping to another park so that they can have a longer day. So I bet all of the attractions probably have very low wait times, and we're gonna find out. Let's go do this. As I'm walking in, I see they have a new photo opportunity here with the characters from Up. This used to be the Lion King one. I'm super excited. Another thing that inspired me to come out to Animal Kingdom today is I've been missing the Walt Disney World Railroad, and this is the only other park that has a train ride in it. So I thought maybe we would catch a train ride around Animal Kingdom. It's only one o'clock and the park is still open for another four hours. It's a little bit gloomy out though. That also might keep people away. Obviously, if we're gonna be judging some wait times, the most important place to start is in Pandora. You gotta see what Flight of Passage is like and Navi River, and that'll give you a good idea of what the other attractions in the park are gonna be like. Oh, look, here comes Rafiki. Rafiki, I'll show you the way. <laughs> That's so awesome. He's coming right underneath the bridge that takes you into the Valley of Mora. Like I said, it's only about one o'clock and it's 10 minute wait to get on Flight of Passage. That's amazing, isn't it? 10 minutes. 10 minute wait for Flight of Passage, one o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, can we also talk about how I just walked in the queue. It looks like one other person just walked in. Like, look at this. This is absolutely mind blowing. I'm gonna go through the queue and I wonder if like I'm gonna walk right onto the attraction because the walk is about 10 minutes. Nobody is coming up the queue. Like nobody's walking behind me. And like I said, the park is still open for another five hours. That is insane. I never get to see it in here like this. I'm about to go into the lab area. And like I said, this is absolutely mind blowing. <laughs> this is so amazing. Oh, wow. This is just straight up 100% a walk on. Hi. One. Thank you. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad, and then move your feet all the way forward. Hold on to the hand grips as shown. It's important to hold on to the hand grips at all times. After you're seated, back and leg restraints will be firmly engaged. You guys know what these initials are? Let me know in the comments if you know each of these names. They're very special to Disney and Pandora. That was so amazing. It's such a good way to start off the day. I wish that I can actually film in there. I mean, you can, but it doesn't do it any justice, honestly, because it's a ride that you just need to fully experience. Like, nothing on film will ever capture what it's like to ride that ride. I definitely need to come back and see what the wait time is like when we got off the ride. Was it a fluke or did we just uh, really crack a code here? 20 minutes. That is amazing. Now we're gonna move along from the Valley of Mora and Pandora to Harambe, and we're gonna see what the wait time for Kilimanjaro Safaris is, and also see if we can head on over to Rafiki's Planet Watch so I can ride my train. Look at this, my friends. Five minute wait for Kilimanjaro Safaris. I can't just walk by. We're gonna have to go on a safari. Two of Animal Kingdom's most popular attractions are 100% walk-on. This is a great, great day. Now, I'd like to see if this actually continues to happen. Like I said, I mean, it's it's hard to commit to this park when it closes at five o'clock and you can hop now. Uh, before, when we had the park hopping option, the park didn't close at five o'clock. It used to close super early back in the day before Pandora, but now that it was such a popular attraction, they increased the nighttime activities and it became a whole day park. Something that is really cool to point out, when the parks first opened, the cast member previews, I came here and I vlogged that day, they actually allowed you to take your mask off while riding Kilimanjaro safaris. 
Go back and watch that video. That blows your mind, doesn't it? Welcome aboard the Simba One. My name is Mike. I'm the safari guy here at the Harambe Wildlife Preserve. This is getting interesting. All right, let's make our way down to the watering hole. It's a pretty good gathering spot for animals. It's a rake. Sometimes. It's a bunch of hippopotamus. Hip hop? Hip hop and otomus? Look at that. That's a cool view. Hi, friends. All right, he's a little too close to the ride path there, so we're gonna just take a nice and slow by them. And one thing I don't want to do is spook them. This is so awesome. Way ahead in the distance there, coming up on the right. That big guy back there weighs a ton, literally 2,000 pounds. They also stand about six feet tall at the shoulder. Hi, friends. And it looks like a vertical jump of eight feet. Holy moly. Uh, looks like his grass crown fell off. And a lot of times we'll dig up weeds with his horns and, or yeah, with his horns there and kind of wear like a little grass. He's in the I have never seen the animals this close and just so active. It's good to note yeah, that it is 139 and I believe they just fed them all. So I don't know if there's a schedule, but this is the first time I've been through the safari yeah, when they actually were feeding. And this is amazing. Mm -hmm. She's a seed for about maybe 100 feet or so in front of them. Yeah, they have really poor eyesight. They really have mostly in their senses of hearing and smell. You see the ones that you're moving in with them kind of talking here. Mm -hmm. Look at that lion outside. right there. I'm going to try to zoom in for you, but he is sleeping yeah. and he just he looks so peaceful, pounds. doesn't he? So to put that size in perspective, you see that little paw hanging out right in front of him there? The paw's actually bigger than your face. Oh. <laughs> We're being chased by ostriches. Yeah, look at this. These birds can run up to about 40 oh, miles an hour. Oh, wow, Holy moly. The lioness and saw the ostriches like, hey, what's going on out there? Man, look at the lions up there! <laughs> wow. After having a walk on flight of passage and then that safari, dare I say this might be the best day I've ever had at Animal Kingdom? I really feel that. Holy moly! Before I hop the train and head on over to Rafiki's Planet Watch, I wanted to grab a quick snack, so I grabbed a Simba pretzel. It's like a Mickey pretzel, but it's a Simba. Can you see it a little bit? I mean, this one's a little distorted. Comes with some cheese sauce, and I grabbed myself a good old Bud Light. I have to say, even though they're probably the same pretzel, the Mickey pretzel tastes a lot better to me. I don't know why. I think the Simba one is like flatter and it actually has more hard pieces on the end. So if you like hard pretzels, but I just like the Mickey pretzel because it's so fluffy and airy. I don't know, they're both good pretzels, but I think I prefer a Mickey one next time. That made me feel so much better, but now we got a train to catch. We must be moving along. Oh, and here it comes. The Harambe Express. The Wildlife Express. Now this train is a little different because it's actually facing outwards and that's so we can't actually see any of the backstage action that's actually going on at Animal Kingdom. So this is like really a fun experience. I love this. All aboard. Greetings, friends, and welcome aboard the Wildlife Express. For a safe journey, remember to stay seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Oh. Sit all the way back against the bench, and please be sure to watch your children. Asante. Bienvenidos a bordo del Wildlife Express. Para que tengan un viaje seguro, manténganse sentados, con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Siéntense hasta atrás, pegados al respaldo de la banca. Y por favor, vigilen a los niños. Gracias. Wildlife Express, with service to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Here, you'll discover a wide range of animal adventures. From the affection section, where you can get up close and personal with domesticated animals like goats, sheep, and more, to sneak peeks at animal care in action. And our veteran
Like there's Pride Rock. That's where the lions were, and that's actually where the ostriches were chasing us. How crazy is that? To conservation. To the note, Bambi was the first animated feature to bring live animals into the studio. In the 1940s, Walt Disney and his animators modeled characters from the film after the movements and natural behaviors of their real-life counterparts. Even with the latest advances in computer animation, this tradition continues today as animators Look at the rhino in there! I've seen a rhino! ...serve animals in their own surroundings. And that includes here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We are now approaching Conservation Station. A big elephant's over there! For your safety and the safety of those around you, please sit all the way back against the fence. Looks like we're here. We have arrived at our destination. I don't know why, I just love train rides. It's the only reason I wanted to come over here. There are some nifty things down here that you can do, like an animation experience, and there's even a petting zoo, but I don't know if the petting zoo's open. I'll give you a, just a quick run through of what they got going on, and then I wanna catch the train and ride it again, because you have to take it back. Here it is. Beautiful, right? It's like a hidden gem back here. A lot of people actually don't come back here. And there's so much to do over here. Like I said, they usually have a petting zoo, but I don't think the petting zoo is actually open because social distancing. Or maybe it is. Oh, it is open. I see people in there with the pets right now. Look at that. Get to hang out with some goats and some cows and some sheep. Very fun. And then they have really good areas to wash your hands. And then when you go inside, you learn a little bit more about the care of the animals. And like I said, they have an animation experience where they teach you how to draw. And this is the animation experience. This is where you draw some of your favorite characters. This is really a cool thing to do. It's about 35 minutes though. So like I said, we're probably not going to do it today. Maybe one day I'll come back and check it out. Like I said, it's very nifty back here, but we need to be going back and catching our train because I want to head on over to Expedition Everest. I also want to check on Dinosaur. There's a lot of things we can do today. Here it comes. That was a fun adventure. I really loved it. Now we're gonna keep going. Like I said, I wanna go to Expedition Everest and I wanna see Dinosaur. It's a great day at the Animal Kingdom today. I feel like there is not a single person here with me. Look at this. There it is. Expedition Everest. Also Chip and Dale and Goofy jamming out to Bad to the Bone. B -b 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 bad. Bad to the Bone. And here it is, Expedition Everest. It says 10 minutes, but we're pretty positive it's gonna be a walk-on. Like we are literally gonna just walk right on the ride. So this means that all three of probably the most popular Animal Kingdom attractions are a walk-on mid-afternoon in January. This is unheard of, actually. Like it really is. And I'm just so lucky that I was here to actually enjoy this day. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, technically this is another train ride for the day.
glasses here. Oh boy. <laughs> Ride is just so exhilarating. Holy moly, I love it. Wow, what a wonderful day we're having today. Like, I feel so super pumped. Like, I'm like, wow, I can't believe all of this happened in one day so far. I'm about to actually do a super zoom photo, a scenic super zoom photo. I'm excited. We go in here? Oh, wow. This is super fancy. Holy moly! And where do we stand? Thank you! You're welcome, have a good day. Yeah, that was super awesome! I'm definitely gonna add that in there for you. Might as well just head on over to Dinosaur. Everything was a walk on and I think that's a good way to cap off the day. A nice ride on Dinosaur and a time rover. This is gonna be great. Watch us get over here and this be like the longest line of the day. How like strange would that be? Just like for some kind of like oddball reason. I think we're actually clear though. It does say a 10 minute wait, but it's probably more than likely a walk on. Look at that, 10 minutes. Oh, it's warm in here. I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but this is literally the first line we've had all day. Wow. What are the chances of that? I mean, we can't really say anything. It was all walk-on. This is literally a five minute wait. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I got the plexiglass in front of me. I don't think it really matters on this ride, only because it's not any special 3D effects or anything. So you're gonna be able to see the dinosaurs on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. Not everything is straight ahead, so. This is one of those rides where I think the plexiglass isn't so bad. I think that was a great way to end the day. I had so much fun today. I can't even begin to explain how much fun I had running around. Well, you've seen it. You guys got to see it. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.